Imagine a world untouched by science, where the night sky held unknown wonders. Witnessing aurora lights for the first time, some Vikings believed these shimmering curtains were a bridge between their world and the realm of gods. A celestial ballet of the Valkyries carrying fallen warriors to Valhalla. Though it was Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei who coined the name Aurora Borealis in 1619 after the Roman goddess of dawn Aurora and the Greek god of the north wind Boreas, the earliest suspected record of northern lights is in a 30,000-year-old cave painting in France. Eons ago, ancient civilizations beheld this ethereal phenomenon with awe and reverence. Some whispered tales of celestial spirits dancing across the firmament while others saw it as a breath of gods painting the night canvas with their divine brushes. Welcome to the enigmatic world of the Aurora Lights. In the quiet of the night, when the stars shimmer above, a celestial spectacle dances across the heavens, captivating souls and sparking the imagination of mankind. Tonight, we delve into the Aurora Borealis, a spectacle that dances across the Arctic night sky, a tapestry woven from light and legend. But what exactly are these mesmerizing lights? For all its beauty, this spectacular light show is a rather violent event. It's the charged particles, primarily electrons from the Sun, colliding with the Earth's upper atmosphere at speeds of up to 45 million miles per hour, creating a dazzling display of light. At any given moment, the Sun is ejecting charged particles from its corona, or the upper atmosphere, creating the solar wind. These particles carried by the solar wind excite the atoms and molecules in our ionosphere, or upper atmosphere, causing them to emit light. This interaction, known as the Aurora Borealis in the Northern Hemisphere and Aurora Australis in the Southern Hemisphere, illuminates the polar skies with the outworldly glow. To witness this celestial ballet firsthand is a privilege bestowed upon those who venture to the Earth's polar regions. Under the cloak of darkness, away from the city lights, lie landscapes where the auroras reign supreme. For the intrepid souls who chase these elusive lights, patience becomes a virtue as they await the perfect moment when the heavens are light with color. But why only at the poles? The Earth's magnetic field acts as a shield, deflecting most of the solar wind. However, at the poles, the field lines funnel these charged particles towards the atmosphere, igniting a luminous spectacle we now know as the aurora. The colors you see depend on which gas molecules are being excited. Green and red for oxygen, blue and violet for nitrogen. Constantly changing input from the Sun, varying response from the Earth's ionosphere and the motion of the planets and the particles in the near-Earth space all conspire to cause different auroral motions and shapes. So the next time you gaze upon the night sky, remember the Aurora Borealis is not just a spectacle of light, but a testament to the delicate dance between the Sun and a planet. It's a reminder that even in the vastness of space, there's a story waiting to be told. Each hue, from the vibrant greens to the deep purples, tells a tale of elemental reactions, a symphony of physics playing out in the night sky. And so, as we stand beneath the shimmering curtain of the aurora lights, we are reminded of the boundless wonders that grace a universe, beckoning us to gaze upwards with wonder and humility. If you've enjoyed this journey through the ethereal beauty of the aurora lights, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more captivating stories from the wonders of our world and beyond.